Hello and welcome everyone to the Commodity Report for the 21st through to the 22nd of February 2023 presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So we have yet again seen explosive moves to the upside so far this week. We've seen that across Platinum, Palladium and now also Copper as well. So Palladium so far this week is up 2%. Platinum prices, they're up just under 3% and copper prices, they're broken out over 3.5% in the week so far. This follows on from the week ahead commodity report. We talked you through big opportunities here with platinum whilst it remained below $940 per ounce. Also on palladium whilst it's below $1,500 US dollars per ounce. And of course now copper has also taken the lead, bringing many of these metals up with it back towards the swing highs. Now alongside that gold right now, is still consolidating within the ranges of 1830 up towards 1845 US dollars per ounce. Right now we have the industrial metals, they are absolutely leading the way. And we also have the minutes of the FOMC, those are scheduled for release on Wednesday. So again, expect massive market volatility off the back of that as we go into the minutes at 7 p.m. London time. Then of course, as we transition towards the end of the week, we're looking out for further opportunities for a late end of week rally on many of the metals and energies here as we then start transitioning closer to the month of March. Now, a couple of other points to be aware of right now. We have crude oil prices, they're rolling over back down towards $76 per barrel. Yet again, if we were to see the price roll back down towards those areas of liquidity back at 70 to 73 US dollars per barrel, these are very much areas of interest. Now the play right now with gold, again, if you look at platinum to gold, the ratio right now, platinum prices, they're half the price of gold. We haven't seen it this low relative to the ratio in over a year. Each time that platinum prices have broken down to half the price of gold, typically platinum will outperform gold. It's also the same for palladium here as well. So we're capitalizing on that move. We've built into multiple positions on both of those metals, which are performing extremely well at the moment with the breakouts that we've seen so far over this week. Not only that, we have silver prices. They're also up 1.5% on the day at the moment. Gold is actually the laggard right now. Gold is lagging behind those other metals. As I mentioned before, if gold is able to reclaim back above 1,850 US dollars per ounce, this is where you could start to build some traction, staircase higher back towards the 1900s. The timeline for that to occur would be over the next couple of weeks if we were to see further inflows and further capital come in to that precious metal as we get between now and the end of the week. Now, alongside that, we've obviously now got some geopolitical risk at the moment as well after Joe Biden's visit to the Ukraine. We've seen a speech earlier on in the day on Tuesday from Vladimir Putin. As a result, this further heightened geopolitical risk at the moment, which could drive further capital into the metals, which of course are perceived as a safe haven. This time last year, at the start of the Ukraine and Russia invasion, this is where commodity prices, they exploded to the upside. You have palladium that broke out towards all time highs. It was the same on copper. Natural gas prices, they broke out all the way back up towards the swing highs. We had similar bids on gold breaking above 2000 US dollars per ounce. It's worthwhile being aware of that. This again could be a further catalyst at this time of the month and this time of year for higher prices with commodities. Then finally, of course, you want to align all of this with the cycles that you typically get over the month of February. As I mentioned last week, you had the Valentine's rallies on the energies there. You saw over a 5% breakout to the upside with oil at the start of last week. It broke out to 80 US dollars per barrel. Now, as you come into the final week of February, into the first week of March, typically you start to see rotations into some of these industrial metals such as platinum, palladium, and silver. So definitely have those on your radar right now. If you're not making money on commodities at the moment on these metals, you absolutely should be. We've been telegraphing it to you on the weekly reports, exactly what we're doing. You're seeing it at the moment. All of those metals have exploded to the upside so far this week. So again, this comes down to utilizing a professional research-driven approach to the market, utilizing real-time data-driven cycles on the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly for each commodity, further align that with the key areas of liquidity in the market. The capital flow is extremely important. Then of course, add the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, fundamentals, the macros, the geopolitics, and of course, how the hedge funds, money managers, banks, institutions and commercials are positioned in the market. All of this compounded, it's going to help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to join our professional mentorship program.